In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build this site on your own in just 10 minutes. And we're gonna be doing this in just five simple steps. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create any website you want from start to finish using a drag and drop page builder. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Step number one is to get a domain name and web hosting. A domain and hosting are the two things you need to launch your website. So to get these, just click on the very first link in the description and it will take you to a special co-branded landing page that I have with HostGator in order to give my viewers a massive discount on hosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on buy now, which will take you down to the three different types of plans we offer. We've got the hatchling plan, the baby plan, and the business plan. And now the baby plan and the business plan are for when you start getting a little bit more serious in web design because you have unlimited websites and then uh, a whole bunch of extra stuff. So I'm gonna go with the hatchling plan, which gives you a single website and it's perfect for beginners. So here is where we get to check if our domain name is available. So I'm gonna go ahead and search my very own custom domain name. And if the search bar highlights green, that means that your domain name is available and it's ready to go. Now, also, you'll see that they have a whole bunch of different options down below, like .club, .site, .net. But I always recommend .com because it's the most common and it's also the most professional looking. So I'm going to stick with .com. Scroll on down. The next thing you have is domain privacy protection. And I always leave this box checked. It basically protects your personal information from solicitors and telemarketers who are going to call you and email you with just a whole bunch of offers for your website. So I can't stand it. I always leave it checked. But it is $14.95 a year. Now, this is the part where you get to choose your hosting plan. We already chose the Hatchling plan, but you've, you can change it right here if you want to. And we've got the billing cycle. So the billing cycle, you can choose how often you get billed. So I'm actually going to stick to one month. So I get billed every month. And so it averages out to $7.66 a month. But you're going to be paying for all of the months that you select up front. So if I select 36 months and go down to the bottom, you'll see that it's a lot more. Whereas if I select one month, it goes down significantly. So I'm going to go ahead and stick to the one month right here. And now this is the part where you get to create a HostGator account. It's pretty simple. You're just creating a, an account like you would anywhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in my personal information. Perfect. So I went ahead and entered in my own information, which it's blurred out for obvious reasons. So now I'm going to scroll down to number four, which is your billing information. And you can see right here, I've got credit card and PayPal, which I'm going to go ahead and enter in my credit card information right now. All right, so I went ahead and entered in my information. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down to number five, which is the add additional services. Now, uh, you can go ahead and leave these checks if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and actually uncheck both of these boxes because I've got videos on the channel that show you how to do this for free. So we've got the secure your website with site lock essentials. So I'm gonna uncheck that one and the backup your hard work, which is just backups of your website. So I'm gonna uncheck both of those. Now that is uh, $199 per month, but it's billed annually. So that's $23 and $23 right there that you're saving. The second to last part is the enter your coupon code. This is really important. Make sure that it has create a pro website right here uh, because this is my affiliate link. And so that's what's going to get you that massive discount. All right. And then number seven is review your order details. And so as you can see, we've got the domain registration for one year, which went from $17.99 down to $4.99. And then I've got the hatchling for one month. So this is my hosting. This is my domain. So it went from $10.95 down to $7.67. And then my hosting add-ons, which is just that domain privacy protection. And you can see that it comes out to $29.10. So I'm just going to agree to the terms and click check out now. Okay, so now HostGator is just setting up your account. So we'll go ahead and give it just a minute. Okay, perfect. And so it looks like it automatically throws us into the HostGator dashboard. So I'm going to go ahead and click on view my dashboard. All right, so now that we have our domain and hosting, we can go ahead and move on to step number two, which is to install WordPress. So in order to do this, we're just going to click on install WordPress straight from the HostGator dashboard. And so just make sure if you have multiple domains that you click on the one that you need. So 10 minute website. So I'm going to click on install WordPress right here. And then I'm going to click on install now. And so the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have the correct version, which this is. So we're good to go. And then also make sure that this is going straight to the new domain that you just registered. So the next thing we have to do is change the site settings. So we've got the site name and description. And so if I were to search HostGator, this is going to be the site title. And then this is the site description right here. And so that's what we're entering in right now. So I'm going to make mine. And then the description will be how to make a website in 10 minutes. Now the admin account, this is really important. You have to remember this to log into your website every time. We've got the username and password. So I'm going to go ahead and change that right now. So I'm going to make it my name, but you can do whatever you want. 
and enter in my own password. Now the admin email is also pretty important, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the email that I'm gonna be using, and then I'm gonna scroll down. Last thing you can do is change the language if you want to, but I speak English. And then I'm just gonna skip everything else and go straight to install. And now WordPress is gonna to install to my new website, so this will take just a few minutes, so I'll see you guys then. Perfect, welcome back everybody. So now we can see, congratulations, WordPress has successfully installed. And so now we can go ahead and look at our website by going to the administrative URL right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up on a new tab. Perfect. So if your website looks like this or says anything like your connection isn't private or this page doesn't exist or anything other than a WordPress login screen that looks like this, then all that means is your site has to propagate first. Now propagation just means that HostGator has to take the new domain name that you just registered and send it all across the world to every server to let everyone know that you just purchased it and now it's live. This can usually take anywhere from a few minutes to 30 minutes to an hour and sometimes it can go up to an entire day. So you just have to be patient and keep coming back and clicking on the refresh button until you see a page that looks like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in right now. So type in my username and password. Perfect. So now that we're in our WordPress dashboard, we can go ahead and move on to step number three, which is to download a theme. Now, before we download a theme, we can look at our current website by going up to the top left corner and clicking on our website name, but I'm going to open it up on a new tab. So this is what our website looks like so far. It's pretty plain and just green and black. And so we're going to go ahead and fix that now. In order to download a theme, we're going to go to the left hand side, hover over appearance, and then go over to themes. And so I'm gonna go over to add new theme because right now we've got the 2021 theme just for standard WordPress. And so that's why it's green and black. So let's go ahead and download a new one. And I'm gonna search for one called Astra, which is right here. And I'm gonna click on install and activate. Perfect. So now our new theme is activated. So if we go back up to our website and open it up on a new tab, you can see that it looks completely different. Now, it's far from being done, but it definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. All right, so now that we've activated Astra as our new theme, we can go ahead and move on to step number four, which is to activate our plugins. So there's only two plugins we're gonna be installing. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side again, over plugins, and then click on add new. I'm gonna open it on a new tab. And from here, I'll go to the search bar and search something called Elementor. And this is the super easy to use drag and drop plugin that I was talking about. So now I'm gonna click on install now and activate. I'm gonna go back over to plugins and click on add new one more time, just so that I can add the other plugin, which is called starter templates. Install now and activate. Perfect. Now, right after installing the starter templates, I'm gonna go back over to the appearance tab and now you'll see that starter templates appears right here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy up. And now it's gonna ask you what type of page builder you're gonna be using. But if you remember correctly, we actually just installed Elementor a few seconds ago. So I'm gonna click on this one. And now you can choose from a whole bunch of different templates on the starter templates page. So you can click on a template just like this and you can open it up and see how many pages it comes with. It's got an about page, services, contact, and a home page. And then you can scroll through the pages to see what it's gonna look like. I like this one, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it. So I'm gonna go to the bottom right corner and say import the complete site. And now it's installing. Perfect. Now our website has successfully imported, so I'm gonna click on the view the website. So this is your website. While we're here, we can go ahead and move on to step number five, which is to customize your website. So from the home page, we can go ahead and go up to edit with Elementor and click on it. And then Elementor is gonna take a second to open up. Now on the left-hand side, we've got a bunch of different widgets that you can click and drag onto the page and you can put anywhere you want, just like this. But I'm gonna delete it. If you wanna edit anything on the website, you just go ahead and click on it right there on the page and you can start typing. If you wanna change the size, color, or typography of the text, you can do it by clicking on the style tab over here on the left-hand side. And I can change the size of the text just like this. If you wanna change the background image, you can do so by clicking on these six dots right here and going over to the style tab and you can see the image right here. 
So you click on it and you can either choose from the media library that's already on your WordPress or you can upload your own file by clicking on select files. Go over to your computer and select a different image. And then you can click on insert media. And now you've got a different background. And you can also add a background overlay. Click on the classic and you can add a color. So something like this. You can also change the height of this section background by going to the layout tab and going to the height and you can change it to minimum height and then you can drag this slider and make it as tall as you want. You can also change it to just automatically fit to the screen. Just like that. And then once you're finished editing this top section, you can go ahead and do the same thing to everything else on the website. So you can completely change all of this. Whenever you want to save your work, you just go down to the bottom left corner right here and click on the update button. If you want to preview your website, you just click on this preview changes button right here and it'll open your site on a new tab. Now that you know how to use Elementor to edit the page, you can use the theme, which is the Aster theme, to edit the header and footer up here. You can click on the Customize tab right here to go ahead and go to the header. In order to edit your header, you just go over to the left hand side and go to the header builder. If you want to change your logo, you can do it by clicking right here on the logo. And you can click on Change Logo right here. And you can insert it or you can upload the same file. You can also change the site icon which is this little guy right here. So right now by default, it's the HostGator icon by clicking on select a site icon and do the same thing, upload or just insert from your library. You can go to the back button and also edit the navigation menu by going to the primary menu here. And you can change the design of the text. You can change the color and the size and things like that. If you click the back button, you can also edit the button that's over here on the corner by clicking on the button widget down here. And I can type in my own text, as you can see, and then I can insert my own link right here. I can also drag these widgets around, so if I want my logo to be in the center, I just drag and drop it into the center, just like that. You can do the exact same thing that you've done to the header by editing the footer by going to the footer builder right here and you can move your widgets around accordingly. If you want to save your work, just click on the publish button in the top left corner. If you want to add a new page, just go back to the WordPress dashboard and click on the pages tab right here, and you can click on add new. You can also view all of the pages by clicking on all pages right here. From here, you can go to each page and edit the title or click on edit with Elementor. You all now understand how to get a domain and web hosting, how to import a template, and then how to customize your content to make it your own. If you're interested in getting started today, securing your own custom domain name and a web hosting plan is your first step. So go ahead and click on that first link down in the description to get started today. If you're looking to take your website to the next level, make sure you go and look at the rest of our channel to see different tutorials on building any type of website you could possibly need. I'll leave you to it and I'll hopefully see you in the next video.